In today's video, we take a look at one of Delta Airlines' more diverse aircraft types, which also happens to be one of my favorite airplanes. Delta has always had a fairly diverse aircraft fleet, operating aircraft built by Airbus, Boeing, the A220 which started its life as the Bombardier C-Series, and the recently retired McDonnell Douglas MD-80 and 90 series. But even with its diverse fleet, one type stands out with all of its variants and that's the Airbus A330 with its four different aircraft types. The airline currently has 61 A330s in operation with an additional 19 on order. So let's take a look at how the Airbus A330-223, 323, 302, and 941 subfleets break down and see what makes them different for the roles they play. Prior to the Delta Northwest merger, Delta did not operate any Airbus A330 aircraft. Northwest, however, had a fleet of both the A330-323, which entered service in 2003, and the A330-223, which entered service a year later in 2004. Both of these aircraft types used the same engine option, the Pratt & Whitney 4000, or PW4168 Alpha to be exact, with each engine able pr to produce about 68,000 pounds of thrust. With 11 in service, the Airbus A330-223, consisting of ships 3351 through 3361, is commonly referred to as the 33200, the 200, the 332, or now the 3M2 in the Delta system. The 200 is not only one of the smallest subfleets as far as number of aircraft in service in Delta's 330 family, but also the smallest aircraft in the 330 fleet as far as size. At approximately 192 feet long, the 200 comes in about 16 feet shorter than the bigger 300 and 900 series A330s. But with its small size comes many advantages. Unlike the 323, the 200 had the optional center tank installed when being delivered. With its 246,196 pound fuel capacity and its 524,700 pound max takeoff weight, the 200 has a range of 7,350 statute miles. 150 miles more than the new, fuel-efficient A330-900 that joined the Delta fleet. Within the 200 and 300 fleets, besides the number of seats, there is not much difference in the cabins themselves. The 200 features a 223-passenger cabin. With 34 lay-flat Delta-1 seats, 21 premium select seats that were recently added during cabin modifications, 24 Comfort Plus seats, and 144 main cabin seats. The original Northwest Airbus A330-323s, consisting of ships 3301 through 3321, make up 21 aircraft in Delta's A330 family. These aircraft are commonly referred to as the 33300, the 300, the 333, or now the 3M3 when it comes to Delta's systems. With its lack of center fuel tank, its fuel capacity is only 172,632 pounds. 73,500 pounds less than the smaller 200. Its max takeoff weight is 513,700 pounds, making it 11,000 pounds less than the 200. With its increased size and decrease in fuel, a huge decrease comes to its range of 5,685 statute miles, 1,965 less than the smaller 200 version. Both the 323 and the 302 that we will talk about next share the same cabin configuration, which is why they are both classified as the 333 or 3M3 in Delta's system. Featuring 282 passengers in a four-class configuration, the newly modified cabins feature 34 lay-flat Delta-1 seats, 21 premium select seats, 24 Comfort Plus seats, and 203 main cabin seats. This differs slightly from the old 293 passenger three-class cabin layout that does not yet have premium select seats added. In 2015, Delta took delivery of its first new Airbus A330, which further diversified the fleet type. The new A330-302, also referred to as just the 302, consists of ships 3322 through 3331 and make up 10 aircraft in the fleet. Unlike the ex-Northwest A330 300s with their Pratt & Whitney 4000 engines, the 302 came with General Electric CF6 engine options, two GE CF6-80 Echo 1 Alpha 4s to be more specific, each engine capable of producing 70,000 pounds of thrust. 
Another advantage the 302 had over the 323 is that, like the 200, it came with a center fuel tank, allowing it to have the same 246,196 pound fuel capacity as the 200. It also came with an increased max takeoff weight over the X Northwest 200 and 300s at 533,518 pounds. All of this combined gave the new 302 a range of 6,500 statute miles. In 2019, Delta took delivery of its latest addition to the A330 family, the next generation Airbus A330neo. The A330 941, referred to as the 33900, the 900, the 339, or just Neo, is made up as 19 aircraft currently in service in Delta's fleet, with 19 more on order. These consist of ships 3401 through 3438 in the fleet. The NEO came with its new, more efficient Rolls-Royce Trent 7000-72 turbofan engines, each capable of producing 72,800 pounds of thrust. With its new engines and other aerodynamic performance improvements, the NEO has a range of 7,200 statute miles. With its 246,178 pound fuel capacity, it is only a few pounds less than the 200 and 302 aircraft. With its max takeoff weight of 540,132, it is able to take off heavier than any other aircraft in the 330 fleet. With the latest aircraft came the latest in cabin designs too. Like the Trent 7000 engines that took some designs and technologies from the Airbus A350's Trent XWB engines, the cabin shares some of the design features of Delta's A350 aircraft also, like its Delta 1 suites. The NEO has a 281 passenger cabin featuring 29 Delta 1 suites, 28 premium select seats, 56 comfort plus seats, and 168 seats in the main cabin. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the info in this video about one of my favorite aircraft. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, if you have a topic that you would like to see covered in an aircraft explained video, feel free to comment it below. You can also check out the rest of the series in the aircraft explained playlist.